Great. So we have x plus y equals 1. And we have negative x plus y equals 3. What we've got to do is solve the system of equations by graphing, which means we graph both equations on the grid here, and then we find where they intersect. And the point of intersection is our solution, right? So um, to graph them, let's go ahead and solve for y in both of the equations. So we'll solve this for y, and then we'll solve this for y, and then we'll graph both. But the trick is, I think with students, the trick is just doing one at a time. So just kind of just do this equation and graph it, and just we'll tackle that one next. So, so we've got x plus y equals 1, and we've got to solve for y. So uh, solve for y. Yeah, minus you gotta, y? What's that? What, minus y? Oh, no. Yeah, you got to get minus y on its x. own. Right, right. So to get y on its own, you got to get rid of this guy, the x. Right. So we have y equals 1 minus x, or negative x plus 1. Either way is correct. 1 minus x or negative x plus 1. I'm just going to write it as negative x plus 1 just for fun. Yeah. Now it's actually in slope for, slope intercept form. The m is negative 1 and the b is 1. But anyway, just going to write that. And then we're just going to do a little table and, and, and plot some points. Okay. You OK with that? Yes. So this part is where we actually make up numbers off the top of our head. Um, we are interested in when x is 0, though, because that's when, when you've got the y-intercept. So let's plug in 0 for x, at least. Let's start there. <laughs> okay. That's what the kids and the other ones like a breakdown of. This in there. Okay. So y equals negative x plus 1. Or, sorry, I should have. What am I doing? I don't need to. I don't need to do that. So we're just going to plug in zero for y first of all. Negative zero plus one, which just gives us one, right? So we have one point on this line. It's x is zero and y is one. So we could. We've got one point. Point. That's good. That's there. You okay with that? Yes. Yeah. But well, now we need to get a bunch of other points. So again, we're just going to make up a bunch of x values. And you can do 1, 2, 3. You can do negative 1 and positive 1, negative 2 and positive 2. I'm just going to pick, just for fun, I'm just going to do negative 2 and positive 2, right? You only need two points. I'm just going to do three just to make sure that they're all lined up in a straight line. Um, so negative plus 1, negative x plus 1, right? So I'm going to plug in negative 2 and then positive 2 and see what I get. So negative negative 2 is positive 2 plus 1, 3. OK, that one? Yes. The other one is just negative 2 plus 1, which is negative 1, right? So x is negative 2, y is 3. x is negative 2, y is 3. Is here. x is positive 2, y is negative 1, and that goes there. OK with that? And so these three points are in a nice straight line. That means we must have done our maths correctly, hopefully, anyway. <laughs> and we'll draw a straight line through those. And so now we've graphed the first equation. So we've graphed that equation. Now we go ahead and graph this other equation and find where the two lines hit. Okay. So on the other equation, we've got to solve for y. We've got a negative x plus y equals 3, right? 
Let me know when you're ready to go on that. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. ready. Cool. So we've got to get rid of the negative x because we want to have y on its own. We want to have y equals something, right? And just move that over actually out of the way of the other one. So I've got to add x to both sides. Does that make sense? Yes. If I add x to both sides, it'll give me, I'm just kind of just kind of focus on it. So, so that'll give me y equals 3 plus x or x plus 3. You okay with that? Mm-hmm. And now we're just going to make up some numbers, make up a table, plug some numbers in for x and get some y values. And I would always tell you all to just plug in zero for one thing because it's easy and that's your y-intercept. So let's plug in zero and see what we get. Zero plus three. So we should get zero plus three, which is? We should get zero, three, right? That make sense? Yes. Zero, three. So I'm going to make this, this will be the red line. Whoa. Ah, what a mess. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, so, uh, so zero, three is that point there. So I'm just going to plug it around. So that's that point. Let's get another point. Again, I'll just pick up some numbers. You could do negative one, positive one, negative five, positive five. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do negative five and positive five, just for fun. Like, just to prove, like, it doesn't matter what these numbers are. You just have to pick a number for x and calculate what the y is and plot it on the graph. So I've just picked negative 5 and 5, but I could have done negative 1 and 1, or 1, 2, 3, or 2 and 4, or whatever. doesn't matter, right? But negative 5, I plug that in, negative 5 plus 3, negative Two. Are you okay with that one? Yes. So negative five, negative two is right there. Positive five, plug that in. Five plus three, eight. So I've got positive five, eight, and that goes there. You okay with that? Yes. And so now I plug those points on the grid and I just draw a line through them. So that's my red line. We got a green line, got a red line, and where they intersect is what our answer is. That should be our solution, where they intersect. Okay, I'll see where they intersect. Um what? Mm. So for the the red line and the and the green line. Yeah, where do they enter? Where do they touch? Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Yeah. So it would be one, two, three. Okay, negative. Yeah, negative three. Right. So they intersect at this point here. That's when x is negative one, and y is positive two. So that point is negative one, two. Yep. So that's where the two lines cross. When x is negative one and y is positive two, right? Yes. And that will work for both of the equations because if you plug, and just for fun, I can't help doing this, but if I plug negative one in for x in the first equation, I get um, sorry, I would get negative, I get negative, negative 1 plus 1, which is positive 1 plus 1, which is 2. So look, I got negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2. And if I plug it in for the other equation, I plug negative 1 in here, I get negative 1 plus 3. Negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So that's again negative 1, 2. Negative 1, 2. Make sense? Yes. So that's checking it. 